lot. I'm Jack Hull with Track and Seal. We're here today to show you our newest product. It's a replacement for calcium chloride, of using calcium chloride, or it will also work with calcium chloride. It's called TSP-5. We developed a brand new revolutionary technique for applying the product that makes it much simpler and easier to apply. We've devised a canister, which uh, two canisters actually, one canister to put the dry powder in through the valve stem assembly, and then another canister to put the water in if you choose to do that. If you have local water source available under pressure, we have a water meter that will allow you to apply water as well as the dry powder directly through the valve stem so that you do not have to dismount the tire from the rim like it is like in the case of TSP2, our current product with a water soluble bag. This product will provide three inch sealant protection. You can recover it and reuse it as many times as you'd like and it will uh, retain a three inch puncture with calcium chloride. We will now proceed ahead to put it into the tires for you. When you purchase the field application kit, you'll receive a water field canister and or a water metering device, a field application canister with the adjoining stand that holds the canister while you apply the powder through the valve stem. We'll now show you how to put the powder into the tire. This is the special tool valve core assembly that we designed to allow application of the dry powder easily through the valve stem assembly. As you can see, the orifice allowing the powder is quite a bit larger. It's a quarter of an inch whereas your standard air valve stem assembly is more like a sixteenth. We're now going to remove the air from the tire and put this specially designed valve core assembly in. We've now let all the air out of this tire we're going to treat. We're now going to remove the valve stem assembly by pushing it down inside the cavity. We can retrieve this later when we take the tire off the wheel. We will now take and put the specially tooled track and seal stem assembly into the hole. Take an Allen wrench, put it down the center, and tighten the locking nut. Holding the Allen wrench steady to allow it to lock into place. This is the field application canister mounted on the stand, portable stand that we'll use to move over and put in the powder into the tire. The bottom portion of this assembly is called a water fill assembly and it will remain connected up to the stem assembly while you apply powder or water. This is a special hose assembly that we have tooled to allow the powder to be put into the stem assembly once it's attached to the water fill assembly. So now we connect it up to the stem assembly that we mounted earlier. We'll now connect the other end of this hose with a quick disconnect into the canister and apply the powder. We're now going to fill the field application canister with the powder, remove it from the stand, rotate it so that the quick disconnect, the large quick disconnect is mounted on top, attach the locking mechanism, straps, to hold it in place while you fill it. We've made a number of changes since the video you're watching. 
Among those changes is the design of this new holster, which allows you to put the canister into place very simply and easy. Lock the chain so that the canister is put into place and remains there. We've also added 12 inches of height to the stand, which allows you to apply the powder readily with various tire sizes, whether it's small or large. We've also added a braking system that you can see here. This uh, allows more stability of the stand under a different terrain and more stable overall. The application procedure for the dry powder remains the same as before, but with these changes in the stand it makes application of the powder much simpler and easier than the video you're watching. Now we're going to remove the cap off of the top. This is a three inch quick disconnect. We have here the product that we're going to put into the canister to treat this 15195, two 1.5 pound bags. Please check specifications from the track and seal factory regarding each tire size and how much product to apply along with how much antifreeze for cold weather. We'll talk about that later. Now we're going to fill the canister. Clip off approximately one inch diagonal across the water soluble, uh, across the bag, water soluble or, or whether it's uh, Ziploc or water soluble. Now we're going to just apply it right into the canister top, like this. This is a biofriendly powder, but you will want to wear a mask. I'll show you in a second. After you've applied the proper amount of TSP powder in the canister, put the quick disconnect cap into place, lock it down. Now we're going to rotate the canister so we can apply the powder through the stem assembly. Connect the field application assembly, wheel assembly here for water or powder. Close your exhaust port. Apply air pressure, making sure your valve is off first. You should have 20 PSI already preset on your canister like I have here for the regulator. That's already preset. Now simply open the main valve at the bottom to allow the powder to go in and apply air pressure. Watch the powder disappear into the tire. Powder is now being discharged into the tire. And you notice that the uh, powder is passing through this hose here. Okay. We've applied all the powder. We'll turn off the air valve. Close the main outlet valve and open the air exhaust valve to remove pressure off of the line so we can disconnect it. applied all the powder into the tire, we're going to take the air line off, make sure the bottom line is closed, the air is let out of the tire, the exhaust, box, exhaust port. Now we're going to disconnect a quick disconnect and apply water into the tire. This is our water fill device here. Connect up the quick disconnect. We've already connected our water line. 
You want to close this exhaust port so the water doesn't run out on the ground and apply water. We're going to put two and a half gallons of water. The water meter is not resettable. So you want to know where the meter was at initially and then add that to the water that you were going to apply. Now that we've applied the water into the tire, release the air pressure, turn off your water valve, release the exhaust line to let air and water in the line out of the tire. And the air is exhausted out. Disconnect the quick disconnect. Disconnect from the tire wheel assembly, valve stem assembly. Like this. Put your water fill valve stem in this special track and seal tire stem assembly. Tighten it up, reinflate your tire, and you're ready to go. If you do not have a water pressure source available, you can apply water using the water fill canister. We've mounted it here in the stand. You can also apply antifreeze if you need to put it in a tire and you actually do have water pressure available. You need to put the key antifreeze in with this canister. Take the cap off the canister, just like in the field application assembly. We have previously filled this canister uh, can with one half a gallon of water, which we're going to pour into the canister. You'll want to put two cans of liquid, some antifreeze uh, as appropriate, for a 10 16 5 tire, which would take one gallon of water and antifreeze and or antifreeze. Put your cap back on. Rotate your canister to apply air to the top. Remount your canister. Okay, we're ready to go. Connect up the airline. We previously set our regulator for 20 psi. Okay, make sure your valve is off, air inlet valve is off, and the outlet exhaust port is also off. Connect up your assembly going to the valve stem. Now you want to open the valve, close your exhaust port so the air does not go outside. Open your bottom main release valve and then apply air with your air valve. Close your exhaust valve, open your air release valve, letting the air out of the tire. Disconnect your, disconnect your line from the stem. Put in your valve stem and it inflate to the proper pressure. You're now ready to go. The tire is treated and freeze protected if necessary. Our product line will maximize tire life. Tire integrity is the responsibility of the tire manufacturer. Please contact your tire purveyor to determine the reasonable safe life expectancy of this tire and notify your dealers and customers of this time limit. Elevate the front axle of your vehicle using jack stands. Remove the core from the stem assembly. Dismount the outside bead from the wheel. Insert a water-soluble bag. Using a funnel, apply water and antifreeze if needed for your area. You would put one quart of biofriendly antifreeze with three quarts of water to treat a 10-16-5. Rematch your tire and apply 
proper air pressure. TSP is an excellent bead sealant. If you have difficulty mounting your wheel to the tire, simply paint it between the bead and the rim during the mounting process. Add one half cup of powder to one cup of water when applying this bead sealant. TSP is instantly effective and instantly protects against three inch punctures. Unlike some Dallas products, Track Seal powder is biofriendly and eliminates the hazards associated with calcium chloride. For those of you using calcium chloride today, we've designed a new product. It's TSP5. It provides sealant protection with calcium chloride and will allow you to keep it in the tire rather than exposing it out into the environment. It can be applied with the fuel application canister or it can be put in with a water soluble bag. Uh, you'd apply five bags uh, three times this size when mounting the tire to the wheel. It is retrievable and can be reused indefinitely. Track and seal savings add up when you figure the cost of tire repair downtime. Two hours of downtime at $37.50 per hour rental rate plus $75 per tire repair cost and $50 to $200 per hour in overhead expenses can cost you $450 or more per flat.